Hey everybody, this is Stephanie. I am jumping right into a Traveler's Notebook spread and I'm showing you some of the photos that I may, uh, that I want to document and I didn't know which one I would be picking. I'm going to be showing you some of the products that I'm going to be using. I am using a printable collection from uh, Tracy Reek Designs. It is the I Heart Fall, most of all, Traveler's Notebook papers and stickers. And I have them, um, you know, roughly cut. I don't know which one I'm going to use. Now, normally I would uh, pre-cut these while I'm sitting down on the couch watching a movie with my family. Uh, but I had not done that, so I didn't get a chance to do that this time around. So I just kind of cut them up and I will cut as I go. And I'm going to show you really quick since I'm going to be working with this kit for the month. Um... Uh, or until I run out, or if I find a, a different collection, I do like to switch things up, depending on these stories. I love this uh, right here, this paper. It has that watercolor uh, look. I Oh, I love this. Uh, is it Argyle? Um, yes, Argyle print, and they're just so colorful and very fall. And so, just want to show you what I'm working with. That way you see how, why I kind of stick to... Uh, the collection just to keep uh, the spread to come out faster and I pull out some stamps I, guys you already know I'm gonna always pull out some stamps especially that first stamp set that one is the newest stamp set from my uh, citrus twist that I got it was the October Traveler's notebook one so I wanted to make sure I use it before I put it in my stash and it's a really good sentiment so I really had a better idea uh, to, to use this selfie picture of myself and uh, I love the, uh, <laughs> the little bit of mint that's in my new, my uh, new favorite mug. It is a new buy this, I think I got it like in September. And then I've been using it the most, especially around this time, of course. And, oh, that actually looks really pretty. Here I am debating which papers that I'm going to be cutting since I don't cut them beforehand. I cut them as I go, uh, this time around anyways, and... Yeah, so I'm going to just talk about that photo for a little bit. And I was just really, I was really in the fall vibe. I had my nails painted for once. <laughs> and I was wearing this nice uh, black sweater that's more Halloween themed than uh But I just feel like it still symbolizes fall. And, I, and then using my favorite mug. And so I just wanted to document that because I need to put more selfies in uh, my... Uh, craft my crafts because I don't really have a lot of pictures of myself and it is nice to be able to include that so these are the papers that I decided I kind of scaled down a bit here not by much but I didn't know which way I was gonna go and then I realized for the photo I wanted to have a lighter background just so that way it does not uh, make it too busy for my photo when I thought of this picture, I thought of adding all those, uh, these right here, all these sentiments all over the place. But really quickly, I guess getting by um, having these papers, uh, it seemed like it's going to be too busy just to throw all those uh, sentiments or word strips, those right there, um, all over the place. So I can that idea. And again, I'm not, I'm not going by a, a sketch or anything. I'm just going based by what I feel, uh, when you know using the products what kind of works with the photo and i realized that i like having a uh, label there with one of the uh, sentiments and i don't remember which one that one comes out being uh oh yes hello well hello fall <laughs> i'm gonna pull out this little layout here and so i can be able to read these uh sentiments better that one said well hello fall and I'm debating to see if I can see anything else. And I end up going with that one or this one right here. This is uh, Happy Fall, y'all. And it was a strong uh, debate for me because I, I really like that sentiment. Because that's really how I felt with my <laughs> cup of coffee. Like, just cheering with myself. <laughs> but um, I end up going with that dark blue. Just because if you notice that uh, creamy... Uh, color that says hello uh, that banner right there it's really a uh, creamy beige color makes me think of really really uh, light coffee <laughs> and uh, I didn't have that anywhere else throughout the spread as much so that's what made me determined to go with the darker sentiment for the left side of the spread 
So now I like the, the feel of where this is going and I realized, okay, well, there's three more labels within this kit. Why don't I just do a trio of labels with sentiments on there and then I can add my stamps within the spreads. I'm so sorry for the glitchiness of the uh, camera. Um, it's always going to be an issue when I work in the secondary uh, workspace. But my uh, first main area does not have a proper setup right now with the lighting situation. So now I'm kind of stuck here for a bit. So this is the stamp set that I'm using. It is a Traveler's Notebook stamp set. I apologize, I don't have that in frame. And it says all kinds of happy. And that's exactly how I felt with this uh, selfie. That's why I even got inspired to take it. I normally don't take pictures, like I said. So, but I was really... Fill in the vibe, guys, and I wanted to document that to remember that feeling and, um, you know, just it's, it's worth documenting. I am, um, oh, I, before I do any more uh, stamping of any more sentiments, I do remember I wanted to add in that dark color to the right side of the spread. As you notice, I do not have any of that dark blue or uh, the mint there on the right side and I wanted to help balance out the spread so I pulled out one of those uh, pattern papers that have the florals that I really liked with the pops of a mint within the flowers and I'm using that as my background to my mat of course it's kind of puffing up a little bit just because it is a uh, it got it was a printout so it does have a little bit of a curl so that's why I really quite added uh, some adhesive and mat down my photo properly just so that way there's no more slightly uh, curling and now i'm going back to my sentiment this one does come out a smidge crooked there on the uh, writer portion the right portion but it's a stamp set guys we go with it right and that one says bad vibes don't go with my outfit and i was really digging my outfit that day guys so yeah i had no bad vibes to, <laughs> on my on my agenda here, I'm trying to see what else I can help anchor this uh, left side. It is a busy pattern paper, and I wanted to just uh, leave it as it is. I didn't want to cover it up most of it. I wanted to just let it be it. I just wanted it to be kind of like the title page for me. I just love that archival uh, pattern paper so, so much. And uh, then I realized, okay, I do like this floral, so uh, magic of editing. <laughs> I uh, got it done, fussy cut it out, and I really like it right there. However, I am going to switch it up and check and see if there is a better scenario. I do like that section like this too. Um, it could have been that way, it could have been that way, but I do like it on the top the most. So that's what I'm going to consider. And I'm going to adhere everything down and ta-da, it is all adhered down. And yeah, now I'm going to give you the overview. I had so much fun curating this spread. Simple and uh, it's still uh, time to craft. That's always my biggest key is just make time for it. I hope you got inspired and as always, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.